today I am at the Naman Sansung Fortress. This is a fortress that is built in 1624 in the Joseon Dynasty in order to protect the dynasty from the neighboring countries. It's also designated as a UNESCO World Heritage. You can come here through Subway Line 8 as well. So let's see what's around here. So you can visit here when you come to Seoul next time as well. Let's go! This place is called Hengung and this is a palace where King stays when he comes over this area. So usually he stays in his palace over there in Seoul, but when he comes here near this area, then this is the palace that he used to sleep. Wow, it's so beautiful. Look at that. It feels amazing to walk in a place that is built almost over 300 400 years old it just gives you gives gives you those feelings those wonderful feelings that you are walking in both the past and the present you know which is amazing oh wow and look at all those houses it's just so different from what you see in your daily lives all the buildings all the apartments especially when you're living in seoul you are surrounded by too many big buildings but when you come to places like this and you feel a sense of peace in your heart and i it is so grateful that there are places like these so approachable from where you live and that is one of the reasons why i love seoul so much way to go seoul <laughs> 아 여기가 내 집이면 얼마나 좋을까? <웃음> feel like if you live in this place, all the inspir you can get all the inspirations from the world, and you'll naturally just be an artist. And I also heard that pine trees may be extinct after about 50 years, so it just it just makes you appreciate these pine trees, these beautiful pine trees that are, oh my god, how tall are they? Wow. Look at the modern architecture over there, the contrast between the present and the past. It's just amazing. Look at these flowers just blooming from the fortress and the wall. Here I arrived at the West Gate. West Gate is one of the very popular destinations that you go when you come to Naman Sansong along with Suojangde. So here we are at the West Gate. Let's see what's there. It seems like there are four four gates in Naman Sansong. There's Chaingmun, Uimun, Jihwamun, and Jeonsungmun. And they said the the most the widest and the biggest door is Jihwamun, which is the south gate. Through this gate, through these four gates, um, the king and great citizens of of Korea of Joseon Dynasty went through. <gasps> Amazing. Do you feel like you're in Joseon Dynasty right now? <laughs> this is a spot where many people with camera, they come to take videos of time lapse and you know, the sunrise and the sunset. So if you are looking for a photo or a video spot and you come to Seoul, then this is the place I recommend. Guys, this is the place where we went last time. Last time we were sitting here on the top of Cheonggyeon. It's it's that mountain over there. Uh, 저는 한 달에 한 번씩 오십 옵니다. 이곳에 오면 롯데 타워부터 시작해서 
송파구 전경이 다 나오거든요. 그리고 저기 저기 남산 타워 또 우리 저기 북한산 뭐 타, 저기 저기 청계산 관악산 다 보이거든요. 네. All right, guys. So this is it for today. I definitely recommend this place, Naman Sansong, where the past and the present coexist, and where you can enjoy all the nature, especially in great weather. If you have other places that you want me to visit in South Korea, then um, write down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in another video.